Greetings and welcome to a new video. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, I will show you how to install AFC2 so that you can access the file system on your jailbroken devices on iOS 15 or iOS 16 that are all supported by the Pale Rain jailbreak. The method shown in this video is completely free and you will be only be able to access the file system via USB. It will not work wirelessly. You'll have to connect your PC with the device and then it will work. Also, please note that you will have to be jailbroken root full, not rootless. This method will not work with the rootless installation of the Pale Rain jailbreak. You can use 3U tools to do it. 3U tools is also completely free. So as you can see, I have not yet installed AFC2. So for a proof, you can see go to files. You can see that I am unable to access the file system right now. I am only seeing the file system for user. So after we set up the AFC2, we will be able to read and write to the root file system. All right, so now let's focus on the device. All right, now first of all, open Cilio and then simply head to sources. Simply add these two sources. The first one is the Big Boss. All right, so simply add Big Boss first and then add this TG software, tgsoftware.com slash Cydia. You can add a source by hitting this plus button then typing it here and hitting add source all right so you can pause the video here to see the source address now simply first of all open the tg software and then go to all categories and from here first of all install ldid for apps manager all right get cute confirm all right once it is complete, hit done. Now again, go to sources and now open the big boss repo. Go to all categories and search for AFC and you will see this Apple file console 2. All right. Open it, then get. You'll see queued and then hit confirm and wait for the installation to complete. All right. So once done, simply restart Springboard. This will respring the device. All right. So once you're back after the respring, now please disconnect your device from USB and then simply connect it again. Now you can simply hit files here. And now you can see that now we can access the root file system easily. You can see we can access the file system. It says jailbreak also, as you can see, this is user, this is jailbreak, you can access and see the applications right here. So as you can see, if I want to go to var, we have all the folders listed. You can delete, export, rename. All right. You can see we can access user, local and everything else. All right. Also towards the end of the video, let's test it by creating a folder so we can test it that it works so i have created the folder test so here it is all right now i will test it to delete it right click delete and yes it is working so yes we can read and write now just for you to test that the rename works i have created another folder called test underscore rename so I will rename it to test underscore rename to press enter and you can see it is working. So here are your system ringtones, message ringtones and everything else. One more thing, please be careful and responsible while you access the root file system of your own device via USB because as there are very, very important files out here. That's all for this video guys. If you still have questions, please ask in the comment section and I will reply you as soon. 
i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself